All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today, we're going to be doing a Get Genie review and demo. Now, uh, one of the commenters yesterday in my yesterday's video um, said, hey, how about you do a review on Get Genie? And um, I believe this one kind of passed me by on AppSumo. I apologize, I should have got this one out, but nonetheless, um, uh, we're here to do it real quick. And hopefully those of you that are that watch most of my videos and are on the notification bell list, right, you'll get this and you'll be able to watch the video and you'll be able to make a, a, an informed decision if this is the right tool for you. Um, it, the offer does end in two days. So if you're watching this the day that this comes out, remember you only have a couple days, probably less than 48 hours to pick this tool up does look like they have multiple tiers to purchase. We'll go over the pricing. It does look like they have some really solid uh, ratings, 28 reviews, um, averaging looks like about 4.8 if I had to call it right there. So people are liking the software and uh, Get Genie, um, I like what they've done as far as making this a full fledged WordPress AI writer. And I actually like that because it's going to save you one uh, or two extra steps. Um, they uh, have a lot of tools built in. So we're going to be looking at all that. So if you want the uh, all in one one stop shop and you uh, are uh, on your CMS is WordPress, uh, which most of ours is, unless you're running Shopify e-commerce and so forth, um, then this will be really great. Also, if you're running WooCommerce, this would be a great tool as well because they have some specific uh, AI writing modules that are for WooCommerce um, and um, product product uh, descriptions and so forth. Like right here, why you need the SEO focus that generates uh, keyword rich WordPress and WooCommerce content on the spot. Boom. So um, they do have a unique selling point uh, because this is one of the first um, tools of its kind that I've seen that is high quality that you can write um, using AI inside of WordPress. So I've already done the, um, you know, uh, the setup work, if you will. It's already installed on one of my websites. So you guys don't have to watch me go through all that. So it's already done. We're going to go and sample it out. It says that it is a AnyWord, Jasper, and Surfer uh, alternative. Those are three of the top tools in the market. So um, we will go and be the judge of that. Let's scroll down here. It does look nicely done. They did have AppSumo do a promo video and brief review on the software as well. Uh, and you can just scroll down and take a look at everything. Here's all the things that you get. 30 plus AI templates. I counted them. There's actually 35 right now. A WordPress blog wizard, WooCommerce product wizard, uh, Elementor builder support, and so forth. So uh, we'll come down here and look at the pricing real quick. So license tier one is 30 keyword lookups per month. And I think that that is part of the bl uh, blog post wizard where you're going to be able to analyze a keyword while you're building the content. Um, so when I look at this, you got licensed tier two at 129. You get 100 keyword lookups, um, but a 30,000 words per month. Um, and then you have a license tier four. Now, what I really like about their pricing structure is that it's unlimited sites and unlimited users. So they don't care how, uh, I, I just love that they've done that. So they've done a great job with just not making it complicated. Um, really moving up in tiers, you're not getting any more features or anything like that. You're, it's all based on the amount of keyword lookups that you're going to be able to analyze. Basically, the keyword lookups is the content optimizer, is the neuron writer surfer part, right? Um, and then the um, looks like the competitor analysis uh, per month uh, as well. And then you have um, the amount of AI words. Now, I don't know what they are using for their AI generation. And that's the part that uh, kind of, you know, is is probably the most important part that people really want to know what, um, you know, what do they use? What are they using? And I'll come back up here and just to see if um, they mention it somewhere. Looks like they do have um, added languages, 22 languages uh, to be specific. A lot of languages right there. That's cool. It's definitely WordPress focused. Um, yeah, and I'm not seeing where it um, tells us what model of AI that they are using. I'm sure if we, you know, emailed them and so forth, we could probably find out. But nonetheless, the licensing, um, if I was going to look at this, oh, we have to go back over. So tier three. You've got $279 for 75,000 words per month. And I'm trying to think uh, some of the tools that are around the 7,500,000. $7, I'm thinking that like when I bought Brainwork, um, I got licensed tier th two or three. I got 100,000 words and I believe I paid around that price, right? About 200, 250 bucks 
for that. So they're not like out completely out of the ballpark, <clears throat> but, um, you know, it, it, to keep in mind that things have changed a lot in the last year with AI, especially in the last six months, right? With chat GPT coming out, um, asking this pricing, um, it kind of means a lot more now, um, if you will. So $529, you're all in and you're going to get 150,000 words per month. So if you're heavy WordPress and you want to, you know, let's say you have 25, 30 websites and you need to put a few articles on every single one of them each month, you could install this on all those sites and easily go in and have a schedule and so forth and write some high quality content a few times a month, or you can just focus on one website. Um, I do think once you look at the pricing, I think it's a little bit more on the steep side. I think it's a little bit more on the expensive side when you look at this. But with that said, they um, their unique selling point is that they uh, are saving you steps because you are going to be inside of WordPress doing this. OK, um, so let's just move forward with some other stuff. Here's their website and here's the everyday pricing annually. Uh, you can go and start up with a free uh, account. I'm going to be looking at a free account today, 1500 words. So I need to be careful with the way that I use the uh, software. Um, and then you have the writer pro and agency. So you can go down to $82 a month, um, to get 150,000 AI words per month, which is pretty good. Um, but, uh, you know, like if you compare this to Jasper, then this is better pricing to, than Jasper. You're getting 150,000 words per month. I believe for about a hundred dollars a month, you get a hundred thousand with Jasper. So slightly better pricing. Um, and then you have your monthly pricing right there. Um, that's the website. Um, I've already came in here and, and then once you, you basically you'll download the WordPress plugin and then they do have a video right here explaining everything, how to install it and so forth and get started. So they've, they've done a really good job with the onboarding. I think it was very easy. You just add your uh, domain name right here and push add site and then it'll give you a license key down here. I've already done all that. Um, and then here is their roadmap. So we've got in discussion, golden keyword filtering, identifying keywords with high probability to rank. Um, looks like that is um, in discussion right here. Um, and then you have um, AI featured snippet um, and so forth. And then you have up next rewrite with keyword. That's really cool. Be able to put a keyword in there and then rewrite a content um, that's specifically putting a keyword in there. They actually need to put multiple keywords in there if they want to be competitive. Uh, press release, bo uh, boss mode, voice command, um, expanded list of people also ask. That's cool. Um, and so forth right here, Google NLP for keyword suggestions. That's already in pro uh, progress right here. Browser extensions, multi-language support, tone of voice, plagiarism checker, really good stuff. And then you have completed, they've already added all the stuff. Chat AI, we'll go and look at that right now. And I'm actually interested in look, they're adding more languages. So they're very active and you want to see that as well. So super cool stuff. Um, we've already went and um, installed it right here. This is what it looks like. We're going to come look at that. But I wanted to, um, after installing it, you know, I did a page speed test. I did install it. I want to run this one more time, but I am getting a 93 and a 96 on my site. I uh, typically have very high speed scores um, with uh, this website in particular. And I just want to go and rerun this uh, because that was the biggest question that I would ask myself was that um, by installing this, does it weigh your site down? Because um, that would be a huge uh, bummer, right? You install this big plugin that um, is cool to use, but then it slows the hell out of your um, website. And look at this. We're getting a 98 on mobile and a 96 on performance. So no uh, worries there. And that's, uh, I'm going above and beyond with these kind of tests, right? And not, not a lot of people reviewing the softwares are going to go and do stuff like this to see before and after if the plugin actually um, is going to, um, you know, slow your website down and it, it uh, specifically does not right there. So that's great. So let's go in and check out the software real quick. So we're over here um, and there was one thing I've kind of looked, you just click on any of these and you can come over here and you're going to be able to choose some more options right there. Then you can put in like your question right here. You can go uh, standard. Uh, this is coming soon. This, the tone of voice you saw that they were um, changing with that. Then you have all these languages right here. You can say how many results you want uh, right here as well. And then your creativity right here as well. And then you just push right, but I'm not going to do that one right now. Um, there is a genie mode. This is going to be like, a, you can command it to do anything right there and then push right. That's really cool. And then you have right here, there's like 12 in each column. So 12, 24, 36 right there. 
zoom in just a little bit more. Um, trying to remember to zoom in more uh, on my screen so you guys can see uh, what I'm doing better. Uh, I, but I do have to kind of rotate and move uh, move the screen down a little bit more, uh, more often, if you will. So uh, we are coming through WooCommerce product title. You can click on that and it's going to, they specifically have a WooCommerce product long description right here. So for WooCommerce products, this actually would be great because I do have um, a WooCommerce site. And so um, th these WooCommerce ones are really, really cool. Now there is a WooCommerce wizard that looks like they're still working on because when I click on this, it does not WooCommerce is not installed or activated. Oh, on this site, it's not installed. So you have to have this uh, WooCommerce installed um, to, to use that feature. And this is not the site that I have this installed on. Okay, so let's go and look at uh, if you click on the um, the Oh, actually, I wanted to go and look at the you're going to go over here and go usage and that is cool i used the uh chat genie and they have a chat function and we'll go check that out and it does not use it does not use your ai credits so that's really cool if you wanted to work if you somehow worked in a pr process flow with your uh, vas that you um, have writing on your sites you could actually use the chat genie function um, and not get ding with uh with the usage that's really cool i'll show you that in a second but we're going to go into ai writing and then let's just say you go into blog wizard right over here and um it's going to automatically start a page up for you. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to have all these different uh, things over here on the right that you can do. Um, you can come over and choose global or, you know, United States is fine. Tone of voice is coming. Remember English creativity, uh, two results. I'm just going to stick with one for now. Um, and then let's go and grab a keyword. I'm going to use entity keywords and we're going to go in here what is the best site to earn money online without investment that looks like a nice long tail keyword right there so i'm going to copy that go back in and throw that in as a title and that's optional um i really don't have anything that i want to add right there so i'm just going to say uh, generate title that's the long tail keyword i don't really know if we need a title um 10 best sites to earn money without uh, investment um no we're not going to go with that we're going to just go into i guess we'll just change the title later so we'll just select that i'm not seeing where i can manually tell it what title i want which is kind of interesting uh, but we can obviously change the title back uh, in a little bit i'm going to go next this is where we can change our title back to exactly what uh, we want and i'm going to actually um, just say 10 best sites 10 best sites to earn money online without investment. Okay, perfect. Um, we're going to go creativity and generate intro. So it just takes you through the, um, you know, the process. It's going to generate an introduction for us right over here. So we are in WordPress and we're not going to have to move between tools and all that sort of thing, which is um, going to be the, the, the coolest part about using this tool. So as a student, I know that making extra money on the side is something a lot of us, blah, blah, blah. Um, this blog post will delve into the world. So that's a really long introduction, but I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I'm going to left click right here and does it do anything for us? I'm just going to left click and push next, I guess. Okay. And then we're going to go, um, and it has the introduction in this box here and then it has the title over there. And then we're just going to say generate outline. Okay. And then a little, uh, extra, um, UI box over here comes out. That's cool. And you can see it's pretty fast. Um, we have select all introduction surveys, freelance writing. So it's not the 10 best sites. This isn't the be 10 best ways. It's the 10 best sites. So it didn't really intelligently find websites that are um, good. Like I was expecting maybe Odesk and Fiverr and, um, you know, sites like that, that you can actually go and sign up and then make money uh, right now. It's just telling us the best ways. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and select all though, just for purposes of the demo. Um, actually, no, I'm going to take off um, these ones right here because I don't want it to take up all of the, you know, all of my text. And I'm going to say one uh, right there. And then we are just going to go and push um, next. So we generated the outline and now we're on content um, introduction, a length the default. So we can choose pretty soon. We'll be able to choose, um, you know, if we want a small amount of content, medium, large is what it looks like. So we're just going to say generate. All right. So it should be going out and generating the content now. Well, we already had an introduction, so that's, it's just interesting. 
So let's just say, um, oh, so this is where you insert and then we go back into the blog wizard. Um, let's see. So yeah, um, content outline. Nope. Okay. So I'm not really sure what we were supposed to do with that blog wizard. I'm not really sure what we were supposed to do, but we do have, um, this part came back over here, but, um, I think I was supposed to, uh, click onto the other one and generate and then insert and then click on the other one, generate and insert. So, um, it doesn't matter because we can just, uh, go copy over here and then you say, write for me over here. And then right over here, we would just say, so looks like they have a bunch of different ones that we could kind of go with. Um, there's one right here, paragraph for heading. Um, we would just put in the heading right here, surveys. Um, and I don't know if it, um, you know, is intelligently looking at what we have on our page right now or not. I don't know the answer to that, but I guess we'll kind of see. Surveys are a great way to um, learn more about your customers. No, that's that's just not it. So um, we're kind of, you know, back to kind of square one where we would need to feed this. Um, we would need to feed it what, you know, what we would need it to write uh, about. Um, so that is a bummer um, because we needed the we needed to do better in the blog post wizard example, if you will. Um, but I wanted to show you, uh, the, let's see the genie, um, right up here to the top is chat genie, right? So then I would just come over here and you can actually tell it professional writer. Um, they have all kinds of different, um, you know, types of writers in, in here, which is cool. I'm going to go with professional writer and we're going to go with medium and I'm just going to say, um, how to make money with online surveys and then we're going to push the enter and then how chat genie is going to go out there and write for us and i don't believe that if you're using chat right up here i don't think that this is um costing any credits of your ai credits per month which is super cool so it looks like it's still writing and there it is look at this we've got this whole um, thing right there. It did really good. So we can copy this content and we can come back over here and then we can just uh, paste it in right there. And then we would just move on to the next freelance writing, super cool stuff. Um, and then you would just push, um, you could go back into chat. So I like that feature. Uh, I'm going to go to write for me and I, the paragraph for heading, I don't think I liked that one. So let's see if we can find a better one. All right, write two paragraphs on making money with freelance writing and write. Let's see what it can come up with for us. And it did actually write two paragraphs. Freelance writing is a great way to make money and become your own boss with the right skills. And then the first step to becoming successful freelance. So I think that's pretty good. Um, they included Fiverr people um, per hour, all kinds of good stuff right there. So uh, I think we just... Um, copy that. Yeah. If you left click, it copies it. Then you come back over here and just push return and paste. So I think that, uh, could be a pretty good workflow. You could train VAs to do this very easily. Um, this introduction is very long. You'd probably want to split this up multiple times and so forth. So overall, um, I haven't used the tool quite like this before. So, um, we're going to look at just kind of explaining some pros and cons, um, about the tool. Um, for one click writing, I don't think that it's the best that I've seen, um, but I do think that it does have some really cool features. We can also just uh, save the draft over here. I'm going to copy this whole thing. Let's see right here. Control A. I'm going to copy that and then we're going to go in and we're going to test this out real quick. And um, I'm just going to check for um, AI real quick. Take that part off. And we're going to scan again. And so we've got a 10% original score, uh, not too bad. Um, but you know, you'd want to see this higher for sure. So not like the best I've seen, but not the worst, um, not at zero. And then we could come over here and do one more test over here as well and paste that in and check this as well real quick.
and we want to high, the higher the score over here the better so 45 percent score so it's not really uh, scoring the highest um, as far as human readable now remember you take that with a grain of salt because um you know most people agree that a if it detects on ai that it's not a big deal um i'm going with the side of caution with my content now um that it uh, i'm trying to get as high a uh, human human scores as possible um, because i don't uh, trust google at face value just because they say that they're okay with ai content um, doesn't mean that um, that's actually what they're going to build into their algorithm right so um, what they say to the public doesn't necessarily mean what they're going to actually do um, to their algorithm um, and i don't think it hurts if you can find content or find uh, tools that have higher um, higher human or or i guess less ai detection score the better um then i think that that's that's just good it's only going to help you i think with your content being more unique um but um overall this was um uh get genie it is on AppSumo. uh you can pick it up for as low as 49 dollars you can install it on as many wordpress sites as you want it does have a chat feature built in right there which is super cool and it has a 35 templates to choose from to help write your content in WordPress. This could even be a great additional tool um, to add to your WordPress sites. It doesn't slow your WordPress site down. And while, when you uh, finally get to publishing your content, if there's anything else uh, left in the in the process um, that you need to add a little bit more content to, or this one could even be the tool, um, I just, just thinking about it, the brilliant part about this tool, this could be your tool to go back to posts that are over six months old to go in there and just add a paragraph every once in a while so you can continue to um, update your blog posts that's what i would use this for personally is to be kind of an, a blog updating type um you know because then you're going to be able to just do it right there oh there was one more thing we didn't look at um where is the we didn't look at the content um let me see if i can get into that i'm going to go back out of this um trying to look where the like the word lookup is right you can't just get in. I guess you can't just get into that from here. So it is a uh, wizard. So let's go back and do one more real quick. All right. So here's one. Make money on YouTube with rain sounds. Great. Let's use that one. I'm going to come back in here because I don't want to miss. Um, so we're going to put the keyword in right there. And we're going to analyze the keyword. That's what we needed to push. Analyze keyword. So where is the analyzation? Okay, so kind of a bummer. I did try like four times uh, to basically analyze the keyword. And when I click the analyze keyword, nothing happens. Um, so that's just kind of a bummer because that is the part um, that, I mean, literally I just come in here, I go to get genie AI writing and I click on the blog wizard, right? And then I say, um, you know, even just pickleball, analyze keyword, it just boots me out and it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I don't know if I'm using the tool incorrectly, but it just doesn't seem to be working for me. So that function right there, and that was this uh, feature that was supposed to be, you know, all this right here on the screen was supposed to be the score and it was supposed to be the surfer part. I was, uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to demo the, um, all these other parts right here, the content score and so forth. I'm not getting um keywords questions asked where is that part under outline i'm not seeing where that part is to be uh you know honest with you um kind of a bummer because you can see them demoing all that right here you can see them popping up all these charts and all kinds of good stuff keywords and so forth with search volume and that just didn't work for me in my review so i wouldn't necessarily um say that you know it's the tool's not um, good because I wasn't able to demo it for you. Uh, maybe there is uh, something going on uh, with that connection, or maybe there was just something that I was clicking wrong. Um, it could be my user error as well. So um, I'm not going to, um, I don't feel comfortable in this particular one saying, hey, you know, the software is no good because I couldn't get the, the SEO feature to work. I'm sure that it works and I just wasn't using it correctly. Um, overall, the this is the pricing right here, license tier one through, um, looks like you can go all the way up to tier four, um, all in at 529 for 150,000 words per month. Um, and this was my 
Get Genie review. If you want to go and check this out, there'll be a link below. Remember, this is only good for the next two days. It ends on uh, March 30th at 11 p.m. All right, thanks, guys.